Welcome back. We are at another one of my favorite fall backdrop locations. I love getting out to explore some of the fall scenery and the colors. And boy, is this an incredible spot. The uh, historic Swayback Bridge is behind me at Alexander Ramsey Park in Redwood Falls. It is uh, uh, the largest municipal park in Minnesota. And they have, of course, Ramsey Falls here, but a lot of trails, great stuff for the kids. They even have a mini zoo that uh, you can take the kids to and feed the ducks and the geese and the animals and and have a great time. This is a spectacular place. And it's going to be a perfect weekend to check out some of the fall colors and do all of that exploring and uh, looking for fall colors and just enjoying the great outdoors. But you might want to get that out of the way as we head to the weekend because, yikes, we have some changes. We're talking 30s for highs by late next week. And we'll get to that in just a second. Let's take a look outside, show you what's going on. First of all, our almanac average high today, 37, or actually 59. The average low is 37. Look at that record, 17 back in 2022. We did get into the 60s today. Going to have another nice day coming up tomorrow, although this system will continue to bring a few clouds into tomorrow. But those clouds will get out of here and lead us into a really nice weekend. Take a look at the satellite and the radar. A few showers moving through with that system now. But they're not going to last long, and it's not going to amount to much. Probably not more than a few hundredths of an inch before the showers are in and out of here. And we will see them continue into tomorrow a little bit, a few sprinkles, but mostly just clouds as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures, mainly 50s, a few places still hanging on into the 60s. And we're going to stay fairly comfortable in the 50s through most of the upcoming evening, dropping into the upper 40s again tonight. The wind has picked up now that that system has moved in out of the northwest now at uh, around 10 to 20, occasionally gusting to 25. And that's what we will see here through much of the night tonight. The map system moving through, high pressure to the west. That's going to leave us with some nice weather again tomorrow, but really into the weekend and early next week. You can check out the hour-by-hour -hour forecast, and you can see a few off and on showers tonight. Tomorrow, mainly just clouds, especially in the morning, but by later in the day, those clouds are going to bail out of here. And that is going to be our lead-in to the upcoming weekend. Tonight, we are going to be mostly cloudy, a few showers or I'll say maybe just sprinkles at times. Our low 47, the wind northwest at 10 to 20, gusting to around 25 at times. Tomorrow, clouds in the morning, then some sunshine. 59 will be the high. Northwest wind at 5 to 15. Friday, a gorgeous day. Mostly sunny, 67. We do have a little front that's going to bring slightly cooler temperatures for the weekend, but Saturday, Sunday, still looking good with sunshine. And highs in the upper 50s. Monday, 62. Tuesday, scattered showers, 60. We'll see scattered showers off and on through next week. And then... Colder air arrives by Friday and Saturday, upper 30s to low 40s for highs. We're going to drop those lows into the 20s by late next week. So take some time to enjoy that uh, nice weather this weekend because things are going to change as we head into next week. That's it for me. We are at Ramsey Park in beautiful Redwood Falls, Minnesota, checking out some of our favorite fall backdrops. Dion, back to you. Very lovely place. Thanks, Sean. Well, tonight at 10, members of Congress went home again without electing a speaker after Jim Jordan came up short on his second ballot. We'll have the latest from the Capitol. Plus, researchers are studying the link between alcohol and breast cancer, what scientists want women to know about the risk. And then keep it here for a special Wednesday night edition of Sports Extra. All that plus your midweek forecast coming up tonight at 10. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Bongars. What you need, when you need it.